got a nice uh, Voigtlander Perkyo 2 camera here. Apparently it has uh, film advance problems, amongst other things most likely. So, into it. Let's open the front. And the front doesn't want to open. Oh dear. Oh, we'll have to see what we can do about that. It's not exactly springing open. Right. I think a spudger might be called for. Before I start digging and poking at it, let's try pushing it out from the back. Here it goes. I suspect the front had just been pushed in too far. Um, possibly it was bound in too, too tight in the packaging. It certainly springs open well enough now. All right. Well, as you can see, I'll zoom you out a bit. It's a tidy enough camera. All looks very good. Clean and tidy on the inside. But apparently, the film advance is unusually stiff. There's certainly something not quite right there. That is, uh, it should be very low friction. That all appears to work after a fashion. I'll remove the top and we'll see if we can find out what's going on. I'll start here with the film advance knob. The shaft fell out the bottom. Two screws here on the top cover. Let's just remove that shoe. I think one of these screws holds it down. I'm not sure which one it is. Not that one perhaps. That one. The top cover hooks on over the end there. I think I've got to get that shutter release button to, to press first. Of course that doesn't want to play the game. Yeah, that's certainly something odd going on there. That's better. Can we get that over there? Yep, that's it. It's the top cover off. You find it just comes loose. There's not much to that. That lever. Yeah, that's bent up. Get that bent, bent back down.
in the odd things going on here all right well I'm going to take a photo to make sure that I have a very clear idea of exactly where all these springs connected to and those springs are pro possibly not identical so it'll be important to make sure I know which one goes where and see if I can find out what's gone wrong with this film advance and shutter interlock which is most certainly not working as it should Certainly not good there. Right, let me get to it. First I've got to get these springs detached from their various posts. And that's proving difficult. The spring, instead of being a single terminal coil the spring around the post it's a double coil which means it's very very difficult to get that off I'm going to try getting them off the center post instead It's two off, but they've come off entangled. I'll see if I can disentangle those, otherwise I'm going to get nowhere. All right, well, that was a bloody struggle. Now the last of the three. Yeah, they're all double coils of uh, around the post. Makes it very difficult. Where it's a single coil of spring, you can run your tweezers around it and release it from the groove and have minimal problems. Okay, that looks like that's riveted on there. I'm going to start here with the frame counter. There's a spring hooked in a groove there. This returns this frame counter back to the zero position when that lever flips over Remove the screw from the centre, of course it immediately rolls off onto the floor. Oh that was the disc that ran onto the floor, right, take the screw off. This disc will probably lift off, there's its return spring.
makes us an assembly that's all in one piece. This piece here hooks into it. I'll have to remove that first. To unhook its spring. Undo that screw. Lift that off its post. I have to say, all these parts look pretty clean to me. Right, now I can pull that wheel off. This just lifts off. This wheel here, what's holding that in position? This lever here is holding that in position, so if I remove that screw, take out that screw, lift off that arm, there's a spacer washer, this arm, Now this has a tab on it that runs into a slot in the shutter release. How do I get that unhooked? Oh, it will come out for the fight. Is that lever? There's another lever here underneath with its own return spring. But this gear will now come off. That's quite stiff. That's a very strong return spring. That's what swings that frame counter mechanism out of engagement to allow the frame counter to return to the start position. Right, at this end, we had a simple lever here which locks the film advance. That gear is quite stiff. I think the grease has just dried up there. This collar holds it in place, but the engagement notches are very narrow. I think I'll end up uh, doing some serious damage to a pair of tweezers by the time I get that thing unscrewed. Well, with a little bit of extra stress on those tweezers, I did manage to get that unscrewed and my tweezers still look like tweezers. I didn't use my best tweezers for doing that job, as you can well imagine. Now this gear just controls the metering of the film advance. It's not directly connected to the film advance shaft. Indirectly connected you might say. Take the collar off, take that off. And here we've got a lot of very sticky dried old grease there. I'll see if this top plate will lift off. There's three... Oh, that's a problem. There's a nut underneath there. So that screw's loose. There's a nut underneath which holds it on the other side. What about its two mates at this end? Same deal. 
little nuts. I'll lift that top plate off if I can and um, hope to clear any problems that there might be there with uh, grit or dried grease. It looks pretty clean to me. Yeah, that um, nut underneath there is very hard to get at. That certainly needs to be done. Find another pair of tweezers is a bit better at getting at this. That'll do it. And you can see it's just a tiny square nut. The screw should pop up. It does. Put that carefully to one side. And I'll do the same to its mates over here. At least I can get a finger under here to support that nut. And that one. Now the head of that screw looks a little bit damaged, whether that was just from assembly I don't know. Let's lift this off. Okay, so we've got this plate off. Pop that camera to one side. Have a look at the plate. Everything looks pretty good to me here. What I want to do really is just clean these components. Take special care to make sure there's no dust or grit underneath there. If I can unhook that spring, it's a very strong spring, that's better. Just going to make sure there's no dust or grit. Now, these components are riveted in, they're not going to come loose. This piece would probably unscrew, but I don't think I need to. There's not, not enough there to be concerned with. And this lever here seems to move quite freely, so I'll just flush that out with a bit of naff for two. I don't expect any problem there. Bring back the camera body and have a quick look at it. So we just have the shutter release. which moves freely with no restriction. The metering roller, if you like, that senses the travel of the film over the roller. That moves freely. In the camera back, we've got a pressure roller here, which would keep the film in quite close contact with that wheel and the pressure plate too of course. As long as the back of the camera is undistorted I don't see any good reason that the film shouldn't revolve that smoothly as long as everything else is working. That looks good to me. So I will clean up these components with a bit of naphtha and start reassembling things up here on the camera body. Well I have this uh, chrome top plate cleaned up. There's not much on there. All I've done really is make sure that that's flushed away any old, uh, any dust and rubbish from underneath those levers. And they're moving freely and smoothly now. Um, this lever here as it swings over it, it disengages this wheel arrangement here. That's its job. That was a bit stiff to start off with, I'm not sure why that should have been. Um, I suspect that the, the grease on this little cam here was certainly uh, 
bit dry looking. I'm just going to put a wipe of molybdenum paste on there. That should be fine. Now the order of putting this back together. I think there are probably options but I'm just going to keep this nice and simple. I'll start here. Let's put this top plate in place. And we've got three small screws and nuts to go underneath them. And the screws don't really screw into the top plate, they just pass through it. Now why they chose to do it that way, I couldn't tell you. It may just be that they didn't have enough thickness in the casting to screw directly into it. And for one reason or another they didn't want to put a uh, some sort of uh, post in there, rivet some post into it that you would screw to. So... You certainly don't usually encounter loose nuts on cameras, but in this case that's exactly what we've got. Okay, I'll just fold that front up because I'm going to have to swing this around a bit to get it, these ones at the back in particular. What I've got to do is hold these nuts up underneath and screw into them. Let's flip that over. Do this on its side. Can you see anything? Yeah, you can see about as much as I can see, unfortunately, which is not a lot. Get in the way of the picture for a second, get the screwdriver engaged. You can see this will be fun. The nuts are quite crudely made. They're um, just a pressed nut. And the thread on them looks pretty crude. see if I can hold one up underneath here while I'm doing it up but of course it doesn't want to stay in the tweezers well that's sitting on the end of this screw but it's not looking straight so I suspect that's cross threaded That one's done up. Oh, one out of three is a good start. One of these nuts has got a little knot, extra notch in it, which I think is probably just a a failure of the stamping process. I don't think it was intended to be that way. It's just about notched right back to the hole. I'll swing this around a bit. See if I can get a screwdriver on there. those loose parts back up the table a bit otherwise I'll end up knocking them off in my fighting with this
It's two in place. If I can get the third one in place, we'll have done well. This one is loads in from the front. No, just drop that. Let me retrieve it. We need to glue this to the end of a stick in order to uh, present it to the screw. No, drop it again. All right. Well, I'll bring you back and I'll get this screw in place. 